Young and the Restless, Y and R, Vandals tease that Celestro Solace may have a great reason to return to Genoa. After Sharon Newman's cancer battle is over, Ray Ro Solace will most likely ask questions. Unless something big destroys Ray and Sharon's romance, that would be a logical next step for Shay's clown. Of course, engagement will not guarantee a marriage. In fact, this could become the path to a breakup if that's how Y and R writers want to get hold of things. The stress of the wedding plan can be damaging, especially if the mother-in-law interferes with life. Eva La recently won a daytime Emmy for her outstanding work, Celeste in The Young and the Restless. Laru was a bit excited by her outstanding guest actor in the film's victory movie, so maybe Y and R will bring Celeste back to GC. This is the perfect time since Sharon and Ray can start planning their wedding soon. Celeste can easily return to town in hopes of participating. She could hear about Sharon overcoming the cancer battle and coming back with good intentions. Celeste may think that she can take on the position of the wedding planner so Sharon won't have to worry about anything. Perhaps Celeste would argue that all Sharon will have to do is show up and become a beautiful bride. Nonetheless, Sharon is an independent girl, and certainly will not like Ray's mother to make any decisions. This could lead to some serious clashes and leave Ray stuck in the middle. If Sharon felt like Ray was on Celeste's side, she could bet that it was a problem. If the problem starts to pile up, Sharon can call the whole thing. In other words, Celeste's comeback could be great news for the sake of the movie and terrible news for Prince Shay. If the young and the restless writers decided they were ready to part with Ray and Sharon, Celeste would probably blow in to take care of it. When other details appear, we will continue to bring you updated information. Young and the Restless's Vandals say the program hopes to return to production by the end of this month, so let's hope it works. Young and Restless Vandals document that Elizabeth Hendrickson is celebrating his birthday this weekend. She was born on July 3, in Northport, New York. The actor, who first joined Y&R in 2008, gave birth to his first child earlier this year. She and her husband, Rob Meter, welcomed Josephine James on March 27. As Y&R fans know, Hendrickson's character was also pregnant on the show when fans last saw Chloe. She and Kevin Mitchell are waiting for their second child in late April, when the final episodes are watched. This iconic soap was originally planned to continue production on July 6. However, the reboot date was pushed to July 13, to try to ensure that the production could be reconnect without turning off the device. Y&R's sister program, The Bold and the Beautiful, continued production at the end of June. Short production breaks needed to adjust the test protocols, with production continuing and still intact. Hitherto. Laura Lee Bell, Christine Williams, recently said, in an Instagram conversation with Doug Davidson, Paul Williams, TPTB at Y&R is learning through B&B's efforts to prepare for what they do. Do. Hope. Hope to be resumed clean by mid-July. Traditionally, Y&R recorded about six weeks before the broadcast of the new episode. The cast filmed in mid-March when production halts became necessary. Fans know that Hendrickson didn't wear a pad under his outfit to look like she's about to give birth. No, she was almost ready for delivery when Chloe was last seen experiencing what was proven to be fake labor. Chloe, Kevin, their daughter, Bella Fisher, Likey, also known as Lauren Finmore Baldwin and Michael Baldwin, along with Chloe's mother, Esther Valentine, are anticipating Chloe's baby in the spring. So it's fair to wonder whether Y&R will have time to jump circuit when new episodes return? Assume that Y&R restarts production less than two weeks from now, as expected. If the filming is on schedule and the Chloe plot is mentioned first, fans will likely see the continuation or resolution of that story around mid-August. The classic episodes have been playing since the end of April. So Y&R is motivated to create new shows to broadcast as soon as possible. That momentum will likely cut the traditional turnaround time frame. Melissa Ordway will probably be carpooling to work soon if a new creative way to film soap is done. Coronavirus has closed soap, as film and television production worldwide has stopped as a preventive move to prevent the spread of the virus. 
Now that production is gradually coming out of global mothballs, precautions must be taken to protect the cast and crew from COVID-19 arrest. On the one hand, mandatory measures must be observed, such as individuals six feet apart. On the other hand, program participants have come up with clever ways to film in this usual new time, and one of the suggestions might prove to be a great reward for some stars. The Young and the Restless haven't started filming yet, but its sister soap, The Bold and the Beautiful does. This is the first of the four types of U.S. soaps to bet back on business and no doubt watch the rest closely when guinea pigs are old. B&B is implementing a lot of COVID safety measures including masked crews, people six feet apart, regular intense hygiene and keeping different sets in separate areas. If additional guidelines from the television and film industry are followed, food services will not be used, child actors will not film, and actors may be required to make their own hair and makeup. B&B is expected to go one step further, considering the soap star couple filming their love scene with their partners. This brought an interesting scenario to Melissa Ordway when her husband, Justin Gaston, was an actor. In fact, he played Ben Weston in Days of Our Lives. He debuted in 2014 and the role is currently in the hands of Robert Scott Wilson. Wouldn't it be fun to be with his lovely and talented wife on set, not just a kissing partner but also an ordinary actor? Eventually, Kindle will agree to drive a Mac into town to find work. Billy Abbott will come, and the Mac will ski, not wanting to be near Billy. Billy will apologize to Kinda last night and will promise that it will not happen again. Kinda will accept Billy's apology. Mac will be back and she and Kinda will be leaving town. After that, Billy will find Jill Abbott and apologize to her for last night. Jill would think that Billy had said some bad things to her, but she would eventually accept his apology. Jill will pass and try to plan Billy's summer for him and he will ask her to step back and he is 16 years old and can plan for his own time. Billy will say that he really wants the car keys, and Jill will tell him where they are. Meanwhile, Tony Viscardi will be invited to Newman Ranch for a party, which will make Grace Turner angry, who will be angry because she was also not invited to the farm. Grace will talk about how much she has done for the Newmans, but they still sneeze at her. Tony will try to calm her down. Then he will find a letter from the court telling him that he will go to court for conspiracy and grand theft. Grace will offer condolences. Across town, Megan Dennison will talk to Keith Dennison, and at first she will suspect Keith knows about her and Tony, but she will quickly realize that he will continue to return to pregnant Trisha Dennison. Megan will try to tell Keith that there is someone special in her life, and when she finally does, Keith will want to see him. Megan won't tell Keith it's Tony. Next on Y&R, Ryan McNeil will talk to Trisha about her morning sickness, and he will try to let her eat something. Keith will appear and notice that his daughter looks a bit sick. Trisha will say that it comes with the territory. Trisha will wonder why Keith came so early, and he will say that he is there to solve her problem. At Newman Ranch, the Newman family and others will be gathered for a pool party to celebrate victory in court. Paul Williams and Christine Williams will be there, along with some others. Victor Newman will congratulate Christine for winning the case and Christine will say that they can now solve their problems. Victor will think that Christine wants to rest for a while. Christine will step back. Later, Paul will tell Victor that he is afraid that Christine is exhausted. Victor will then call. Elsewhere, Doris Collins and Millie Johnson will discuss Cassie Newman. Millie will say that Cassie has the impression that she will stay, and Doris will say that Nick Newman and Sharon Newman want her to stay. Disclosure. Mark Grossman and Sharon Case have a real-life romance. Both also appear on screen and it's a chemical that fans immediately noticed. Will this, along with the COVID security protocols for filming, get their characters back together? When Star Y and R. Grossman was auditioning for the CBS opera, he did a screen test with Case. He obviously got the job and in 2019, started playing the new Adam Newman. Shortly after his debut on screen, fans noticed some chemistry between him and Sharon. It is not uncommon for actors to date a co-star. Although some people have no problem with this, others disagree because of hostility. However, neither Grossman nor Case seem to be worried about this. 
there is speculation the two were together in real life and social media posts seem to confirm this soon. Grossman and Case even attended Emmys during the day together. The Young and the Restless star posted a behind-the-scenes video of her dancing slowly with her co-star. That is not a scene, according to Soaps.com. Plus, the two have appeared in dozens of photos together. In fact, they hugged each other intimately during Kate Linder's charity tea. They also take group photos when they are in Canada. The last time they were discovered together was at Case's birthday party in February 2020. After that, everything stopped at a screeching level due to the COVID-19 pandemic. With what and are trying to return to filming later this month, there will be strict rules for everyone to follow. It makes it difficult to shoot romantic scenes, even give a loved one a kiss. Bold people and beautiful people are using real partners as romantic singles. This can also happen with Y&R, but what if the two actors are together? Wouldn't it be much easier just to bring their characters together? That's what some fans are hoping for, but we'll have to wait and see what happens. Do you want to see Adam and Sharon back together? Will real-life romance and the COVID security protocols of Sharon Case and Mark Grossman make writers reunite their characters? Let us know what you think in the comments.